Hello and welcome to another Python tutorial. My name is Tom with LearnPythonTutorial.com and today we're going to talk about the formatting string method. Yesterday, we, or in the previous tutorial, which was yesterday for me or whenever you're watching it, uh, we discussed the old way of formatting strings, which is no longer the preferred way. Even though it's still available to us, um, in Python 3, the preferred way is to use the um, string formatting method, which gives us a little bit more options, and we'll discuss them um, in this video and the next couple tutorials where we're going to really look at formatting. So in today's tutorial, we're going to cover the basics of sh the string formatting method and um, show you how it all works. So first things first, let's create a string, and we're going to add in um, some content. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. We'll create a string saying this is our string. And we do curly braces. Another curly brace. Now this is our placeholder now versus what we used in the previous tutorial where we went like that. Alright. So we're putting in um, curly braces here as our placeholder. Then we're going to do period format parentheses. And then we'll do um, what we want to add here. And I'm going to add in Python. Alright. So then we close out our format string method with parentheses. We hit return. And we get this is our string in Python. So what happens here? Well, this is our placeholder. And when we call the format string method, it's going to take this content and add it in to take the place of our placeholder. And it returns us a new string object. All right, with that content added in. Now we could do something like uh, this. We could do, um, let's see here. We can do something like there's a placeholder, there's a placeholder, there's a placeholder. All right, so we got three placeholders, and we're gonna do format. Then we'll do parentheses. Then we're gonna put our first one. We'll do a. Then we'll do b. Then we'll do C. Alright. Hit return. And it's going to add A. It's going to add B. And it's going to add C. Okay. So what happens here? Well, it goes to the first placeholder. goes to the first part of our, our first argument. And adds it in. goes to our second placeholder. goes to our second argument. Adds it in. goes to our third placeholder. goes to our third argument. Adds it in. Alright. Now... We can also change the order of them. So let's do the same example above, but we're going to change the placeholder and we're going to add numbers in here. So we're going to go to two, and we're going to do um, our ABCs backwards. Another placeholder, and we're going to do one, and we're going to do another one and do zero, and then we're going to do format parentheses. Then we'll do A, B. And C. And close out our parentheses, hit return, and you can see it goes CBA. So it's kind of like an index right here. Zero would be A, one would be B, and two would be C. So that's what the order it calls it in. Um, what else can we talk about? We could also give these um, names, kind of like variables. So let's take a look here. Let's do uh, we are learning, and we're going to do, in here we're going to do um, language, and we'll do, the next one we'll do version, sorry my fat fingers today, and then we'll do um, format. And our parentheses, and then we'll do something like this. We'll do language is equal to, and then in a string format, we're going to do Python, and then we'll do um, comma, and then we'll do version is equal to three, and then we'll do, um, oops, close out our parentheses. Sorry about that. For some reason, I was second dictionary. So we hit return, and we get we are learning Python. So what happened here? Well, when it's ran, it looks for language, and language is equal to 
Python. All right, what happened here? Well, it looks for version, and version is equal to three. So it adds that in there. So that's accessing ar arguments by its name, or you could look at it as variable, but it's not really a variable, it's a name. Um, <clears throat> what else can we do here? Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. We can access um, arguments by the items. So we can create like a variable and do, uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Oh, let's see, uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. let's just do language again, do equal to, and then we're going to put it in tuple, and we're going to do Python, and we'll do three, and we'll return, and we'll say we are learning. We are learning. And I will do zero, zero, close out this one. And then we'll do, let's see, we're going to do add the other one, zero, square bracket, one, square bracket, curly bracket. Close out our string, do format, and we'll call language. close out our uh, format, hit return, and we get we are learning Python. So what happened here? We are learning Python, or we are learning, and it sees this. So it's going to go to language, and it's going to get the first um, index of that tuple, and we have Python. And it's going to go to language again, look for language, and go to the first index uh, this was zero index, first thing index here, and we add three. Um, so basically, that is uh, the basics of the Python string formatting method. We'll dig more into this in the next tutorial. If you have any questions, please leave a comment on YouTube or on our website at learnpythontutorial.com. And don't forget to like the video and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next one.